guys, it's me Adriana and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be reacting to episode 2 of Marvel Studios' Miss Marvel. I am currently wearing my Captain Marvel shirt. Okay, so in episode 1 we got to know who Kamala Khan was and her family and her best friend Bruno and we also found out that she holds like this bangle thing I guess a bangle is what it's called that gives her <laughs> superpowers so really excited to see what's gonna happen in this episode I'm guessing that she's gonna discover her powers let's just get into it I'm really excited <laughs> oh my god the confidence it's giving spider-man 3 what makes you think you're them charming and we look a lot younger than we are Oh my god, that's so true. Beautiful white light, like cascaded over. I've oh, shut her up. Penis, like, so Don't tell me she's claiming to know her. But did she absorb the powers of the thing? Oh god. Oh my god, this is too dangerous. This is too dangerous. No, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. Oh god. Popular opinion says DDLJ. That's cute. <laughs> In case you ever want a driving lesson, here's my number. Brian. <laughs> no. See you later. It's Bruno. Love it. Aw. How is Zoe's house? She didn't do the chorus. Girl, she's in love. She's in love. Tell her, please. Tell her. Cool. Um, I'll see you later, okay? That was kind of dry. I feel like driving. Oh, <laughs> sweetie. I wouldn't let her drive that car. You have a massive crush on King Eternals. I'm literally obsessed with him. Hey, hey. Wait a minute. Oh, no. And, um, don't worry. I mean, mine's the same. King of, like, still has Eternals? <laughs> Concerning. Very. It's the same person. <laughs> it's the same guy. I love this, it's adorable. I love it. Kamala. Uh, Brother! Sister! She's Kamran. It's a great British bake off. I love that show. I just binged it, so I was just doing a bit. Oh, man. <laughs> the way he switched from the accent. Nice to I think I remember you, man. You're liar. On the internet, we called you. What a liar. <laughs> Curling it out. The multiverse? Dude, you need to stop doing that type of stuff. I'm a big fan. Stop. Really? Yes, everyone no. in the office is. And then the uh, enhanced individual tried to kill you. Right. She didn't try to kill me. She saved my life. So you do know what she looks like. What else do you know? Family. I heard she killed a man. <gasps> Dead. What happened during partition? You know what? I think she's the gossipiest of them all. <laughs> Kid, are you kidding? Why would you do that? Why would- No, because why would you be up there? Who allowed him to be up there? Girl, this is your chance. This is your chance. Let's go. Girl. This better work. This better work. This has to work. No, you shouldn't. Why would- I don't know, kid. Why? Why? Ice cream pizza. He stole the shoes. He stole the Versace's. Aren't those the Versace shoes? Oh my god. Yes, girl. That's her great grandmother, right? Oh my god. What? What does that look like a Stark drone? Like the one from the ones from No Way Home. Like what? Oh my god. Girl, just get up and run. Oh no, now he knows. I've been 
waiting a very long time to meet you. Like it's me and my mom. What? Okay, um, so many things to unpack here, I don't even know. Um, <laughs> okay, first and foremost, I honestly did not expect that Kamran, Kamran was his name, for him to be like this spy for what looks like to be Kamala's great-grandmother? Is that not her? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Listen, this, is, this is an initial reaction. Like, I just finished the show. I did not search anything. Like, this is initial live rea- It's not gonna be live for you guys, but it's live for me. Reaction? <laughs> oh my god, okay, so that kind of like- Okay, that, that was insane. And the fact that like, he showed up and at first I was like, Wait a minute, like, now he's gonna know, but how did he find her? Like, it, okay, I don't know. It's- it's a lot. I really enjoyed that, um, we got to see Kamala practice her powers and at the same time her exploring the- you know, everything that a superhero goes through, you know? There's, yeah, there's the cool superpowers and the cool suits and this and that, but there's also the fact that you are responsible for someone's life when you're rescuing them and when she kind of like slipped up um, a couple of times while rescuing that kid from the mosque, which first of all, why was he up there? Like, why was he up there? Anyways, you know, now she has to, now she understands, you know, or at least a little bit of like what it is to be protective of someone else's life and, and basically what a superhero does. <laughs> she got a little taste of what it was and I really like that they're showcasing this because Miss Marvel, from what we've seen so far, it's like a show, it's, it's, it's a show that, you know, yeah, and like other MCU projects like Avengers or, um, I guess Thor and Iron Man. Yeah, we do see how these characters struggle and everything, but we don't really see like how many times it takes them to finally be comfortable with themselves and what they have in store and what they're known for and, you know, just their powers and stuff. So Miss Marvel is finally showing us that. I, again, like the first episode, I really did enjoy that we are exploring more of Muslim culture. And, you know, today we got to see, in this episode, we got to see of how mosques work in a sense, like how people prepare themselves to go to a gathering at a mosque and stuff like that. And it's really interesting because, you know, in a lot of media today, like I said last week, we don't really get to see that like in popular things things if you know what i mean like marvel right now it's what's in it's what's popular everybody knows marvel and you know and things like that like other um like other properties we don't we haven't really gone into that kind of thing so it's really interesting and every time they talk about something that has to do with the muslim culture and and what it means to be part of it it it's very interesting to me and um i'm really happy that they're going more into this and they're talking also about what it's like to be muslim in the united states and maybe in the world and you know what it's like especially for girls you know so this is why representation is really important and this is why it's amazing that we get to see this in a show like this and especially a show that caters to all audiences you know from people from people who are kids to teenagers to adults what else what else can we talk about i'm just like i'm still a little bit hungover on the fact that that was the ending of this episode like they're going in and out in and out and out also I want to say one thing. This just, came, this just came to my mind. I've heard people on TikTok and like on social media saying that Miss Marvel is like a Disney Channel show, that it's giving Disney Channel like show vibes. Listen, this is who the character of Kamala Khan is. Personally, I don't own any Kamala Khan um, comics. Um, I haven't read any of her comics, but I am familiar with the character and her style of interacting with others and her story, how her story is told in the comics. Understand that everybody has to like everything. I get that, I understand that, but listen, this show so far is doing amazing things. It's a great show, it's fantastic. But downplaying it because it tells the story of a teenage girl and what she's going through, I think it's kind of like, okay, you need to chill out a little bit. Because I bet that you wouldn't call Spider-Man Homecoming or Spider-Man Far From Home or No Way Home, like, Oh, it gives Disney Channel vibes, you know what I'm saying? Like, why would you say that? And I'm not saying Disney Channel is not bad, because Disney Channel gave us great things. So by calling it a Disney Channel show, you are not really saying anything, because Disney Channel, at least in its prime, I don't know how it's doing today, I haven't seen any of the shows Disney Channel has right now, but listen, Hannah Montana, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Sweet Life on Deck, Wizard of Everly Place, they're all amazing shows. 
So I don't think that that is something to, you know, to consider as an insult, to be honest, or for you to express the way that you think about the show how do i say this in a distasteful manner so that's all i gotta say but yeah i'm really excited for episode three um so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to hit a like if you like this video hit the subscribe button to get more of my videos and hit the bell icon to get notified every single time i post a video also make sure to follow me on social media my social media will be on the screen somewhere and it's also going to be in the description below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye!